Hello and a warm welcome to you. I'm making a video about Mark Sargent's talk at the 2019 Flat Earth International Conference in Dallas. I saw uh, Bob the Science Guy's uh, videos of, uh, about this talk and I was incensed by the number of deceptive statements made by Mark. I thought that one of these deceptive statements was worth a video of its own because, well, you'll see. This is actually a deceptive statement number 23 in the video, and there are plenty more. So check out the long video once it's up. And somewhere along the line, the powers that be decided we were getting a little too excited. The U.gov survey said it all. Americans were now starting to lean towards flat earth too quickly for their tastes. Indeed, a full third of young Americans didn't believe in the globe anymore. I know, right? 34%. And if you haven't seen the Asmund Gold video, which came out in the last two weeks, you got to watch it because under 20, we're tracking about 53%. Scary for science. Okay, Mark, let's have a look at the actual data from this poll. Uh, here is the actual data from the YouGov poll that Mark is citing. Um, there are five age categories. Mark referred to young people, so I'm assuming that he's referring to the youngest age group, 18 to 24s, the second column. Indeed, 66% of people answered that they have always believed the Earth is round. Presumably round means spherical here. Um, and so Mark says 34% of people no longer believe the globe. But that's not true. Um, a second group, 9%, had always believed the Earth was round, uh, but more recently they are sceptical or have doubts. Well, there's nothing wrong with being sceptical or having doubts as long as you assess evidence and come to a rational conclusion. But to categorise this group of people as a no longer believing the globe is, well, wrong. Uh, most of them probably do still believe the globe uh, is most likely, but they have some doubts. Then there's another category which says they've always thought the Earth was flat, but more recently they are sceptical or have had doubts. So this 5% are people who are now doubting the flat Earth. Maybe they were always taught by parents that the Earth was flat, um, or their religious teachers, and they're now saying, hang on a minute, uh, all the evidence points to something else. So to categorise these people as people who no longer believe the globe is not true. These are people, perhaps, who no longer believe the Earth is flat. And then finally, there's a group, or not finally, but there's another group who've always believed the Earth is flat, and this amounts to 4% of the total in this category. And finally, there's a group of others and not sures. Um, I'm going to class these as all not sures, but there may well be one or two um, people who believe that the Earth is in fact a sort of inverted sphere, that we live on the inside of a sphere, and that space is the gap in the middle, which is even more absurd. Um, but I don't think there'll be very many of those. So most of these people either didn't want to answer the question or um, but expressed some not being certain uh, about the shape of the earth or, or whatever. But to classify all of these as no longer believing in the globe is, again, quite wrong. And Mark has completely ignored um, the other age categories. I would still call 25 to 34 as uh, pretty old because um, I fall in this top category here. Um, but you know, the, the numbers increase as people uh, get older. Now, this is part of what Mark is doing in his video as well, in his um, in his talk. He's trying to aim at young people. He sees young people as a perhaps more malleable, uh, easier to con. But the statement that Mark makes that 34% of young people no longer believe the globe cannot be fairly or accurately concluded 
from the data in this particular YouGov survey or YouGov poll. Um, I think it's quite interesting uh, that uh, if you combine all the ages, you get 84% uh, absolutely certain that the Earth is um, spherical. Um, and only a total of 2% absolutely certain that the Earth is flat. Now, for me, this 2% and 4% here is a, a quite alarming figure, uh, but it's nothing like the figure that Mark quoted in his, in his talk. Um, this figure should be zero, um, as should the uh, group above, because there is no evidence at all that the Earth is flat. In fact, there is a vast array of evidence that proves the Earth is not flat. And every piece of evidence suggests the Earth is indeed spherical in shape. Um, and it doesn't matter where you get that evidence from, uh, as long as you don't get it from people who are lying to you on YouTube. Um, people like Mark Sargent. So what Mark has done is to take a very specific portion of the data and even then has misrepresented what it says or means. An accurate statement would have been only 66% of young people are absolutely certain the Earth is round. Of course, that's uh, still quite an alarming statistic. Um, but it is uh, rather different uh, to what Mark said. Mark said that 34% of young people uh, no longer believed the globe was true. And that is false. Um, a second accurate statement would be that 4% of young people are absolutely certain the Earth is flat. Now, this is not nearly uh, so alarming a statement, and it certainly doesn't serve to um, encourage or promote the narrative that Mark wants to encourage or promote. Uh, but it is an accurate um, statement from the survey's data. And a third statement that you could make that would be accurate would be that 30% of young people are uncertain about the shape of the Earth. That's another alarming statistic in some ways, uh, but it's actually quite good that young people are a little bit uncertain about things and uh, although 18 to 24s I would expect would have pretty much understood that the earth is definitely spherical by now. I expect that this uncertainty amongst young people is at least in part due to the fact that young people tend to watch YouTube a bit more um, and we'll see Mark's videos and other people's. So that's one of the reasons that I'm here to provide a counter narrative to Mark's deceptions and lies. Indeed, a full third of young Americans didn't believe in the globe anymore. that the majority of people thought the earth was flat. Okay? So, you know, I'm not really gonna base a whole lot of, uh, of credibility. It is? Okay, you know what? You, you wanna have a vote on that? Let, let's have a vote on that. All right, it is, it, 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 is the earth flat, actually? Uh, yes, no. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll do this one here, okay, guys? Give me a second. And there you go. anything to so a gamer live streaming a game and someone 
he's talking to says, most people think the Earth is flat. So he puts up a straw poll on the screen. We've no idea, I've no idea how many people were watching, uh, but a majority of those who responded to the poll clicked that the Earth was flat. Why did this happen? Well, I can imagine that a significant number of people will have clicked the Earth is flat simply to wind the guy up. I have seen him talking about Flat Earth on another video, and he was very critical of the idea, made it clear that he thought um, the idea of Flat Earth was absurd and uh, ridiculous. Uh, so I would imagine that uh, plenty of people watching would have thought it would be a great laugh uh, to click on Flat Earth just to, uh, just to wind him up, just to annoy him, um, just for a giggle. In any event, from a straw poll such as this, it is absolutely impossible to draw any scientific conclusion. Mark said these people were under 20s. He has no idea who was watching this live stream. Uh, there might have been eight-year-olds watching it and there might have been 88-year-olds watching it. Probably the majority were young, but we don't know. So Mark, your suggestion that this is in, in any way some sort of uh, reliable data is uh, quite simply ridiculous. So that's it. Mark's evidence that Flat Earth is becoming really popular, especially among young people, is based on two polls. A YouGov poll, so a reputable poll, which showed that 4% of 18 to 25 year olds have always thought the Earth was flat, while 66% have always thought the Earth was spherical, and the remaining 30% were either unsure or had some unspecified degree of doubt or scepticism about the shape of the Earth. Uh, in the older age groups, uh, the numbers were even less in favour of flat Earth. And secondly, a straw poll on a gamer's live stream. The less said about that, the better. That's the evidence that led Mark to say 34% of young people don't believe in the globe. Thanks for watching.